Hi everyone. This is Annabelle, the founding and managing partner of a law firm Kefovi. Happy Easter. Things are changing at the moment. We are entering the, uh, we have actually entered the um, first sign of the zodiac. Yes, I'm a lawyer, but I also follow these sort of things. And um, that is Aries. And uh, Aries signifies that this is actually the beginning of a year from a zodiacal standpoint. So I don't know in your world, but definitely my world, things are changing massively. And, um, you know, with clients coming in, coming out in our law firm. And um, yeah, it really feels like a, a new beginning, a, a renewal things. Um, things are also still very, very slow due to Brexit and Brexit implications, which are, excuse my French, a fucking mess. Basically, nobody knows what's happening because no law has been um, and has entered into force to replace all the EU uh, arrangements in relation to IP, intellectual property, in relation to enforcement of judgments from the EU in the UK and vice versa. So it's a bloody mess. Um, and so that is actually really um, creating chaos, as well as, of course, the pandemic, since France has actually entered a, its third lockdown last week. And the UK should actually get out of uh, its uh, six months lockdown since January 2020. We've been in lockdown here, um, basically around the 12th of April. So that slows down and makes things difficult. However, we are starting a new cycle in this um, uh, month of April. This is, as I said, the first sign of a zodiac which is starting Aries, which, as I'm sure you know, the Ram is always pushing things forward, you know, um, at the forefront of things and, and change and, and movement. So, um, yeah, I think it's, it's you know, definitely going into the right direction. But we've got no visibility when this COVID-19 pandemic is going to end. I don't think any time too soon, to be honest. It's too much of a mess, you know, between vaccination campaigns, which are not very successful and also the fact that basically uh, we have no idea whether these vaccines work with all the uh, mutations of the uh, of the um, of the virus etc so all in all there's a lot of uncertainty going on in 2021 it's a definitely a year of change implementing change so the best as a, as a creative as a creative entrepreneur or as the owner of a creative business is to you know keep on being nimble uh, lean and also very adaptable and do a lot of yoga and uh, and meditation and things which calm you down because you have to keep calm and carry on really that really is you know at this year is really the illustration of his saying um, keep calm and carry on um, and also be flexible you know there's something I really uh, find difficult in the UK is that most uh, British people are actually very rigid very set in their ways extremely rigid and that means that they basically you know um, completely missing the changes or be in and and therefore being extremely um, then unhappy because they the changes have just passed them by and they didn't catch, they didn't jump on the bandwagon to actually, you know, make the most of these changes and they get st stuck in their ways um, and they don't evolve. And so that is really a problem with UK people. They are very inflexible, rigid to a point that you think they actually have a, you know, stick of their ass, which I think is a shame, um, really. I wouldn't say that the French are more flexible. Yeah, I think to a degree they are slightly more flexible and uh but they have less um mastery of managing their emotions the french so you know that's well the british to be uh, to, to to be fair are uh, really uh, very good at um managing their emotions I, I mean at least you know controlling them um managing i don't know but at least controlling them and making sure they don't become menaces threats to society most of the time so anyway, my point is keep calm, carry on. This is a new cycle starting at the moment and um, we need to make the most of it. We need to adapt to the new paradigm, which is that basically nothing is sure, nothing is certain. And we have to, uh, yeah, to uh, basically, if that's what you have to say to a client, I'm sorry, I don't have the answer because that there's a, there's, a, there's a void in law at the moment. That is what you have to say, you know, in a clear manner, but you have to say it. So most clients hate it, but it is what it is. Um, don't make the laws, and uh, we at Crefer, we don't make the laws. There are governments who are out there are supposed to do that, and yet they have not done it yet. So there's a lot of legal uncertainty going on due to Brexit in particular, but also, the, uh, uh, you know, the pandemic because of uh, all these difficulties to travel 
travel from uh, the UK to the EU and vice versa and also potentially having some vaccine passports and shit like this I mean hello so there's also an enormous you know um, breach of our civil liberties at the moment so do a lot of yoga do a lot of uh, meditation do a lot of jogging do a lot of physical exercise which calms you down which is exactly what I'm doing at the moment as well as working my butt off of course so happy Easter take care of yourself and talk to you soon bye